Or do we want to? Should we re? Do we have to redo this? Yeah, it doesn't. Is there? Matter. Whose end is the no audio on? On um, Greg. Oh, really? maybe. Go to the beam thing. Yeah, I'm going. Uh, oh no, no, no! Beam has audio. It's us. It's us. Okay, one sec. Okay. Oh wait, I think it has audio now. I think I fixed it somehow. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Uh, okay, there's audio now, but let me do the 4 by 3 layout. Better than you didn't use it. I did use it. What? No, you used the 3 by 2 Okay. Uh, uh, uh so. more money made. Three Turn your mic up. Turn my mic up? Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, thing is dying. Okay, one sec. I mean, is that okay? Yeah, we're good. Okay. Uh, yeah. This guy said, yeah, we're good. He didn't know nothing. No? Okay. But, uh... <laughs> yeah, no, there's actually no shinies in Gen 1. So, uh, guess you'll not be taking yeah. any credit for that. No color palette, right? Uh, well, there's a palette color, but, uh, it just wasn't a thing. Like, it was only introduced yeah. in gold, silver, crazy. Okay, uh, count down whenever you're ready. Oh, okay, uh, give me one sec, sorry. Yeah. Uh, okay, uh, So you can start it, uh, there's gonna be, so time it game, but, uh, I'll just count down it for, uh, there's gonna be about a 30-ish second yeah. delay before, uh, but whatever, uh, I'll just count down, so, uh, three, two, one, uh, go. Good luck, my dude. Thanks. Okay, so, right off the bat, I start off from a fresh save file, so I can, uh, manipulate the trainer ID to be what I want it to be for later on glitches. So here we're just going to sit through some of the uh, credit screens. Watch this Gengar get beat up by a Jigglypuff. And then we're going to hold space. And A. To hit into a new game. So that manipulates the train ID to be what it is. So now we're just going to mash through this. Uh, this is the second fastest category, and the fastest category on speedrun.com. Uh, Save Corruption is a really boring run, and nobody really runs it. <laughs> so here we named myself uh, five commas for another glitch later on, and just for timing purposes, the uh, rival A. Uh, we're gonna put the options to fastest tech speed and no battle animations, just to make the battles and text go by as fast as possible. Sorry about that. Okay, so this is run on an emulator because uh, I need to manipulate a lot of the RNG, and the RNG seeds that they use are run for a Game Boy player. And uh, yeah, so this emulator is just made to run like a Game Boy player. Oof. Oh my god. I forgot to do marathon strats. That's not good. I should have saved before the rival. Okay, well, I'm gonna hope and pray. But, uh, I might 
lose on out on the two minutes. That's kind of embarrassing. Yeah, I'm just gonna get smashed in by this Charmander. <sighs> yeah, that's uh, typical. I should have grabbed the safety potion too. Whatever. Yeah, so this is a typical no save corruption run. Uh, <laughs> there tends to be one in every like five runs make it past the rival. Uh, so that's my bad. So yeah, we're just gonna basically start off the same. Or they are exactly the same. <laughs> oh, that's a good emote. Anyways, uh. Yeah, let's just keep on trucking through. The rival fight is probably the worst in the entire uh, game, or the run at least. It's just so frustrating, and uh, it kills the run in lots and lots of different ways. Okay, I'm going to uh, grab the safety potion this time. Oh well. It's not that bad. It's like two minutes per reset if you lose at Rival. The, uh... As far as I know, the world record, uh, actually is a pretty crap Rival time. But, uh, has amazing RNG for the rest of the run. Which is why it's a world record run. Yeah, so you uh, name your Bulbasaur A for timing purposes and also for uh, strat used later on. And I didn't save again, but that's fine. I grabbed the I grabbed the save you potion. It'll be fine. <laughs> It'll be fine. Yeah. Okay. So the most optimal. Okay. So Charmander's attacks will deal. 4 damage, most likely, uh, 5 damage, maybe, once in a while, uh, and crits will do, uh, I think it's 8 damage, uh, so what you're hoping for is him to growl and fail, which means that your attack won't be lowered, so the fight will go as fast as possible, and this is actually a pretty good rival. Uh, or him to scratch and it not to crit. Uh, you can have 19, 20, or 21 life. So now we're going to take a look at the special. It was 13 special. So what we're aiming for is 15 special by Pewter... No. Uh, 16 special by Pewter City. So I'm going to need to kill one encounter on my way over. And then I'll pick up the rest of the EXP in the Weedle fight in Viridian Forest. Uh, so now we're headed up on our way through Route 1, and we're going to try and avoid as many encounters as possible, but we do want to look for a level 2 Pidgey or Rotata. Uh, so lucky enough I found a level 2 Pidgey to take out quite quickly, and I crit it which is super nice, otherwise it would take 3 hits for Pidgey. Uh, Rotatas are the best because they have a chance to use Tail Whip which won't do damage to you, and if you have a high enough life by the time you hit Weedle, you probably don't have to growl him. But I'll go over fight strats later. And now that I've gone to one encounter, I really don't want to run into anything else. But that's RNG, so. Also, it's RNG if this guy moves to the left. <laughs> so, if you. 
Uh, if he doesn't move to the left, then you save two uh, walking animations. Two blocks of walking. So we're on our way to grab the parcel to bring back to Professor Oak. Of a safer route just to avoid all the grass and it is faster to take these stairs than it is to take the ledge because the ledge animation is a few frames slower so now we basically just want to run away from everything uh, the beginning of this run can be a little boring but uh, you know whatever and it's always faster to talk to Oak from the side or the top because the rival moves a few tiles or like twice as slow as the uh, player. So if you just want to move to the side so you can cut off his uh, tiles if you cut off his walking tiles a bit. <clears throat> I'm not very good at commentating. So, Gary Oak is like actually just the biggest asshole in all of Pokemon. Uh, yeah. That's pretty much all there is to say on the matter. And we're getting pretty bad encounters. Usually a run would reset, see right here he's not going to move to the left unless I get real unlucky at the end of this fight. Usually a... yeah, so, okay, so usually, um, oh my goodness, <laughs> a run would, I would reset a run with maybe two extra encounters in Route 1, and I think this has been five or six extra encounters. And each of them are 8 to 9 seconds a piece, so yeah, it's not great. Uh, we're going to want to go back to the Pokemart so we can buy the Pokeballs for the run. And uh, we buy 8, so we can set up our money for a glitch use later on. So here's our first instance of a hard reset. Uh, here I'm going to hold up B select and then start and then A through the screens so I can get through them as fast as possible. Uh, this is to manipulate a Pidgey to spawn and yeah. So here we should have a level 4 Pidgey, and here I'm going for a trick called the Yellow Ball. Oh, and I did not get it because the potion was in my inventory. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. That's fine. That's pretty ripped though. Okay, so Yellow Ball, oh my god, the Pidgey crit me. So Yellow Ball is a first ball always trick, and it has about a 4 frame window you have to get through the uh, menus with. Yeah, I'm getting wrecked. Yeah, this is not happening. Okay. <laughs> That's great. So I'm just going to use this potion, save, and then do the same thing. Uh, the game runs kind of like on an eternal clock, and all the RNG is based around that. So if you save in this spot, 
uh, the Pidgey and walk the same way, the Pidgey will always spawn in that patch of grass. Okay, so there we go. So it's kind of hard to tell because Pidgey has such a high encounter rate, but uh, Yolo Ball will be showed off way more in the in the uh, next part of the run. So in Viridian Forest, uh, you can tell the patches of grass have some of them have a bit of different texture, and I guess when they were um, taking green and then making the uh, English versions blue and red, they decided that oh, they decided that uh, they switched up uh, like encounter rates and then like spruced up the grass and then they left out encounters in the grass with the patch like the different kind of patch on the bottom left, bottom right. So you can see how I'm walking through them all. There's only about actually 29 tiles in uh, in uh, Viridian Forest that spawn Pokemon, and I did get an encounter, so that's super unlucky. <laughs> okay, so this is the Weedle fight. So strats are growl and then just spam tackle. And I growled again, but that's whatever. It's not gonna make a difference. I'm just bad. I'm like a little nervous. I don't do this often. I grabbed the safety potion just in case. Uh, Wheel is gonna do a little two damage with a normal tackle, or with a normal poison sting. Five with a crit poison sting. And then he can string shot. Uh, which can be, like, slow you, which doesn't matter because you always go slower than the level 9 Weedle, or it can just not fail, or it can just fail, and that's the fastest if, it's, if a string frog fails. Man, I, I can talk so well. Yeah, so after this, uh, after this poison sting, I'm gonna use the safety potion, because, uh, Because I don't know if uh, if his next uh, poison sting crits, then I die. I mean, it crit there. It it uh, yeah. That's uh, clutch. It might not have crit if I didn't use the potion, but whatever. So here we're gonna look for 16 special, and we got it. So that means we can do a glitch called Bro Brock through walls without an additional setup. If the Bulbasaur didn't have 16 special, then I'd have to do a setup called PP Strats, which, uh, it just means that I'd have to go and set up the, um, moves to have the proper power points. Here, we're gonna buy an escape rope. And now our money is set up to where it needs to be. Yeah, the second growl was just safety strats. Uh, Fuck. That was slow. We're gonna set up. Okay, so we're gonna save here and then quit out. Uh, so the save there, it's not necessarily manipulation, but it allows you to do the Brock through walls glitch because it allows you to get moving on the other side of the guy. So now we go back and talk to him, and since our special is 16, we got a little strength animation there and we can walk through walls. Uh, yeah, PP strats, whatever, dude. Okay, anyways, uh, so what's going on there is the game is seeing, uh, like, it's not, you're not supposed to talk to him from the left, or from the right side. So it like searches for coordinates to where your player is supposed to be, 
and it like messes with the collision detection. Also, my cat is begging to get into my room right now. That's really not enough fun. So here we walk all the way over and then into Mount Wait, or Cerulean Cave, sorry. And then we're gonna set up another manipulation. So again, we're gonna move through these screens as fast as possible. And we're gonna walk up in this exact path through the ladder and then down one and a ditto should spawn. And then we're gonna go for the yellow ball strats again. And I fucked it up, because <laughs> I'm bad. But thankfully, you save, so you can just do it as many times as you like until you get it. <laughs> this is another heavy reset point. Especially if you're trying to de-rust like I am. You need to throw the Pokeball as fast as possible or you don't catch the Ditto. Let's go, on. I got this first try in my practice runs. So it'd be nice. It'd be nice. It'd be nice. It would be nice if this could go, but uh, I mean, it's up to uh, this ditto, I guess. It's not really, though. There we go. Okay, so if you get the yellow ball, if it gets caught, then it's 100% catch rate. Like, it's it's not going to bounce out. So now we're going to switch Ditto into the front of our party and escape our boat. Since we didn't hit a Pokemon Center, we can get sent right back here. So now we're looking for a Rattata. We need something with two moves, and the only thing that spawns in uh, Route 1 with two moves is the Rotata. And we didn't get him. Uh, this is where sh okay. This is where stuff starts to go nutso, by the way. Uh, the Brock through walls is cool, but this is also really neat. Oh my god. Only in a marathon. Okay. I'm just gonna save here. There we go. That was just for safety, you know? Okay, so you transform into him. Switch the moves around and in, run out. Then... Grind for another encounter. So switching the move, It's gonna enact a glitch called Cool Trainer. Which is what happens here, so... Yeah, we get this glitched move set. So now we're spamming down until the uh, name of the move changes and it's not so I'm just gonna be out and then go back in please please This is seemingly RNG. I'm not really sure what triggers this. 
This sucks, though. It's never taken me this long. Come on. Come on, you know you want to. Wow, this game is going great. <laughs> Please. This is not my fault, by the way. That was my fault. <sighs> I don't know what was going on there. But I saved for a reason. Okay, well, the Rotata RNG grind continues. Damn, this game hates me. I guess that's in my emotes, hey? I totally forgot. Uh, okay, let's go. Oh, oh, we soft locked. Are you fucking kidding me? Why? What? What? I don't understand why we just saw Flock. I've actually never had that issue before. Like, what? I mean, clearly something I did is wrong. I mean, trainer ID is fine. Uh, this might just fuck the game up too. What the hell could be the issue? Uh, is there milk? Can I just start off? Oh, uh. Oh, wait. Is this gonna, is this gonna let me? I fucked up. Yeah, that's not what it wants me to do. Okay, uh... Would it be chill if I started from a fresh save state? Or... Uh, cause I don't know what's going on with this save file. Or with this run right now. And I have a save state right at ditto. This just happens sometimes, like, there's 
the game is super unpredictable. Start from the safe state. Yeah, okay. Okay, so basically, yeah. First try. Anyways. So I just had a save state set up here uh, for practicing and stuff. Uh, yeah. I'm kind of disappointed, but you know, whatever. Yes. <laughs> uh. Fuck. I'm so, uh. <laughs> This is just is not going well. Okay, so this is what should happen. Oh. I'm so bad. Yeah, okay, I got it now. I got it now. I know what's up. No, I know what's going on. Yeah, the file was... That file was messed up. I, uh... No, I know what's going on now. This is what this is what drives me when I wake up in the morning. I love it when people watch me fail. It's literally my favorite thing. continues. Oh, and the bad RNG continues even more. This is only slightly very embarrassing. Yeah, only a little. This is still world record, right? <laughs> still leaderboard ready. Fuck that. That guy messed me up. This should do it. This should do it. Hey. We in there. Okay, so this is gonna... This is gonna switch up the uh, ID of the Pokemon. So we're gonna catch a... Oh, nice. First try. Uh, the... We're gonna catch a first try. It's gonna be named Rhydon. And, uh, yeah, then we're gonna spawn in another glitched Pokemon, and all the sprites are going to be flipped now, uh, just a little heads up. Then we're going to catch this one, and this is going to be missing now. Uh, 
Okay, this is where the fun kind of starts. So we look at the stats of Missing Oath. This is where we get access to the game's in-game. Uh, this is where we get access to the game's in-game uh, memory function. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, yeah, so basically we can move everything around into slots that shouldn't be that able to move into. Okay, so it's 6, 2, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Uh, down, take this one. 17, 16, 2, Six, seven, eight, nine, and then okay. Uh, time. <laughs> yeah, arbitrary code execution. Yeah, so we get uh we get access to an in-game uh time now. Actually, yeah, I'm bad. <laughs> um, yeah, you're good. Thirty-three, yeah. thirty-six. Yeah. Uh, so we get access to a in-game menu. <laughs> uh, sorry, I don't know. What is the new poll? Uh, in-game debug menu, I guess you can call it. And uh, we just switch around some memory. Uh, the memory coincides with uh, Pokemon stats, like... Uh, I don't know, whenever you want me to, 